Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from ddefranco.com slash ask boom. That is your open forum for submitted questions for videos such as, you guessed it, this one. And today's question comes from Andrew Henshin. Andrew has an excellent question, so get ready for hopefully some good content because I love gaming. Anyway, Andrew says, hey David, dog054 here. What up, dog? What are your thoughts and expectations of the new Xbox that is going to be announced on May 21st? Will it be a good upgrade for the market or not? Andrew, excellent question. Now allow me to ramble your freaking head off. All right, first of all, I should say it's no secret, guys. I love my Xbox. I love the Xbox brand. It is my favorite console brand, at least in today's modern gaming market. I say today's because it used to be Nintendo and Dreamcast and whatever. And I went through a phase where I loved my PlayStation 2 over everything. It's just Things change as time progresses. It doesn't mean I dislike Nintendo or Sony, it's just I like Microsoft the most. All right, so with that out of the way, let me enter my fanboy mode because I love my Xbox and I'm freaking hyped as hell for the Xbox 720, next Xbox, whatever they're gonna call it. All right, so for this video, I'm gonna reference an article below from polygon.com, excellent website. Actually, probably my new favorite website for gaming content. It used to be IGN, but we're not gonna get into that. I just love Polygon for what it is. All right, but anyway, yes, I will be using that article below to talk about three points, DRM issues, the ability to record gameplays DVR style, just like the PlayStation 4, and finally, last but certainly not least, the ability to have an infinite friends list. Okay, so let's start with number one, and that is DRM issues. First of all, I wanna tackle this. I wanna get this out of the way. I gotta be honest, it really annoys me when I get people believing the rumors, rumors, I should say, rumors, guys, that the next Xbox will not allow you to play used games. Now, I gotta say real quick, don't believe that. Trust me, do not believe that. If Xbox enforced this DRM into the next Xbox to not be able to play used games, that would kill them from day one. Believe me when I say that. Microsoft makes stupid decisions here and there, you know, Windows 8, whatever, but the next Xbox, they're not going to destroy their own brand by enforcing this kind of DRM. Now, yes, there will be DRM, of course. There has to be DRM to protect against piracy because that's an issue. I mean, whether you're an Xbox fanboy, a PlayStation fanboy, or a Wii U fanboy, there is DRM to be handled here and there. Now, how Microsoft is going to handle that? Who knows? They could be... I mean, they could implement, like, an always-on thing, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I see people complaining about that already. I mean, honestly, is that a huge deal? I mean, we're online every day as it is. So for me personally, I don't mind if it's an always on console. Now by always on, this doesn't constantly mean that it doesn't always have to be online all the time just to play your games. Always on could easily mean maybe a, like a one-time authentication for when you buy the new Call of Duty title. It reaches out to the Call of Duty server, says, okay, so-and-so bought this game. It's legit. Bam then you can play it offline if you want to, such as, you know, single player or local multiplayer. And guys, honestly, I don't think you should panic about this. It's not a huge deal. I mean, if you ask yourself if you're online right now with your console, chances are very good that you are. But then again, guys, don't get too wrapped up in this. They're just rumors, and I cannot express enough. Whether it's about an Apple keynote like the next iPhone or the next Xbox or the PlayStation 4, do not buy into rumors. Just wait for the official announcement on May 21st regarding the next Xbox and then make your judgment. All right, so moving on to number two, I do wanna talk about this real quick. I'm not gonna to talk too much, but I do wanna cover it. And that is the ability to record gameplay DVR style. Now, as you know, the PlayStation 4 does have a dedicated share button, which I think is awesome, meaning you can sh stream your gameplay as far as I'm concerned. I'm not sure of exact details, but in theory, you can stream your gameplay to a service like Ustream or Twitch.tv or whatever. And then yes, possibly save those video content uh, those those video files or streams locally to your hard drive and then perhaps you know transfer it to your Mac or PC and edit it in Final Cut, iMovie, Sony Vegas and all that good stuff. So hopefully that's how it's gonna work and if that's how it's gonna work it's probably how it's gonna work on the next Xbox. But there is one thing I do want to mention and that's DVR like functionality meaning the next Xbox could in theory be recording gameplay at all times without you even knowing it. Because let's face it Sometimes you get a cool headshot or some kind of awesome achievement and you weren't recording your gameplay using your recording software or a capture device, right? I know that's happened to me plenty of times. For instance, last night I had an awesome Fury kill on Black Ops 2 on the new maps in Hardcore Domination and I loved it. 
Was I recording for youtube.com slash DeFranco Gaming? Unfortunately, no. So if this is always recording and if this actually works the way I want it to and many other gamers wanted to, this feature alone could be huge. And finally, like I said last but certainly not least, is the ability to have an infinite friends list. Now as of right now, I believe the Xbox Live friends list limits you to 50 friends. Or is it 100? Either way, I know it's not enough because obviously I play a large role in social media. I'm constantly giving out my Xbox gamer tag, which is blurred pixels by the way. Blurred, space, pixels, two separate words. So in other words, yes, this means I have quite a few people wanting to add me every single day. I'm always getting people ask me to uh, you know, clear a spot on my friends list. And unfortunately, I can't always do that because there are certain people I don't want to throw out my list and I'm just not on all the time. So yes, if this is true, Microsoft, thank you so much. This is something we've been wanting for a long time now, just like the PlayStation 3. I'm not sure what the PlayStation Network uh, limits you on, but I do know it allows you to have more friends than it does on the Xbox Live friends list. And that's that, guys. Those are my thoughts on the next Xbox, but only simply regarding the article below. I mean, obviously, I will have future thoughts, especially around May 21st, because, let's face it, this is a very exciting year for us gamers. I mean, we have the PlayStation 4 coming up, we have the next Xbox coming up, and the Wii U has some kick-ass titles coming out uh, between fall and Christmas time. It's going to be an awesome year for gamers. And not to mention, today, as of this recording, you won't see this until Monday or Tuesday, but the Wii U Virtual Console is officially open, and you can purchase classics such as Super Mario World, which is freaking awesome. But yes, those are my thoughts. I'm really looking forward to the next Xbox and what's going to come along with it. And of course, huge thanks again to Andrew Henshin for submitting this question in the first place. And now guys, today is an Ask a Question video. I usually suggest an audiobook, but you know what? Today I'm giving you any audiobook of your choice for completely free. Just go to audibletrial.com slash the creative one, which is right below. Click that link, sign up, and search for any audiobook, and it's yours to keep forever. Yes, forever. Obviously that's a good thing. So whether you want to download a book about Apple, Microsoft, gaming, or even some kind of popular novel, such as, I don't know, The Hunger Games or whatever. And yes, I actually saw The Hunger Games. I thought the movie was pretty freaking awesome. I didn't expect to say that, but I really enjoyed it. Anyway, the point is, check out any audiobook of your choice. Again, using that link below, audibletrial.com slash the creative one. And huge thanks to Audible for making that possible. Still though, guys, even bigger thanks to you for sending in these questions. Seriously, I really, really appreciate it. I cannot stress this enough. The more questions I get, the more videos I can make. This is a win-win scenario for everyone. So go to ddefranco.com slash ask, just like everything else in my life. That link is right below, and submit your questions today. Also, guys, do not forget to check out my live stream right there. I'm actually streaming live right now over at ddefranco.com slash live, as well as the Gear Pop giveaways over at gearpop.com slash giveaways. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.